Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your Location Lifestyles Update. Hi, I'm Ashley Suzega, and this is Lifestyles On Location. And I'm Haley Curtis, and this is your Locator Media Lifestyles Update. Cara Delevingne has been invited to walk in the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show without an audition. The model shut down a snub story written by the British tabloid The Sun, stating that Delevingne was not given a spot in the 2014 show for being the wrong size when in fact she was just shooting a movie and could not participate. CMO of Victoria's Secret, Edward Razick, sent a personal letter to Delavine inviting her to be part of the 2016 show, No Casting Necessary. Wow, she's so brave for sticking up for herself in the company like that. Yeah, and she really deserves to walk in the show for yeah, it. I can't wait to see her. The Country Music Awards were on Wednesday, November 2nd, and it was a star-studded night. Carrie Underwood and Brad Paisley were the hosts once again, and many other country artists like Reba McIntyre, Thomas Rhett, Keith Urban, and even Beyonce made an appearance singing her song Daddy Lessons with the Dixie Chicks. It was a night of honoring the great Dolly Parton, and she was awarded the Willie Nelson Lifetime Achievement Award, so congrats to her and all the winners of the CMAs. CoverGirl announced their first male ambassador. 17-year-old James Charles is an aspiring makeup artist and is now the face of the brand So Lashy Mascara for all lash types. In an interview with E! News, Charles said he hopes to follow in Katy Perry's footsteps and be an inspiration to others. The Mr. and Miss Gabrini pageant is a little over a week away. This competition is more than just a beauty pageant. It's about picking the most well-rounded Gabrini student. Let's meet many of this year's contestants. Hi, I'm Angelina Miller. My name is Chris Fonte. My name is Christina Giles. Cecilia Heckman. My name is Samantha Murray. I'm Matt Harshberger. My name is Matt Keelan. My name is Jack Dunleavy. My name is Rebecca Healy. My name is Missy Matsenka. My name is Eric Stone. My name is Kimberly Pepinella. Uh, so one fun fact is that I love to do paddleboard yoga. My favorite animal is a porcupine. I went to see Hamilton this summer and I was front row and I lost my mind. A DJ on the side, DJ Jack Diesel. I love sports completely. I'm a huge Pittsburgh Pirates fan and a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. I can eat mac and cheese for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day. <laughs> I'm very obsessed with fantasy football. I am super obsessed with Taco Bell. It's like the low-key love of my life. And I got to meet Dan and Shay after their concert. Well, I play the piano since I was seven. I've only flown on a plane once. My favorite animal is a pig because when I was a kid, I was a very, very messy child. I believe I should be Miss Cabrini because I feel I embody what a good and well-rounded Cabrini student is. I'm super involved all around campus. I've gotten involved with so many different clubs and organizations. I'm here and I'm making every moment of it. I'm living with purpose as the new logo says. I'm involved in lots of clubs and activities and it also Definitely helps that my mom went to Cabrini, so I have that whole alumni background. I think I really try to embody what it means to um, have the privilege of receiving a Cabrini in education. I love Cabrini so much, and Cabrini's given me so many opportunities to really experience the world through a different set of eyes. I think of myself as a very fun, outgoing guy and I feel like I can represent Cabrini well. I feel like I can represent the school in a very good way. I feel like I am well-rounded. I embody everything that there is to be about Cabrini. I love Cabrini. It's been my home for the past four years. I've made so many friends and so many memories. Cabrini is like a home to me and I want to make it a home for everyone else. I really enjoy making people laugh. Laughter is the best medicine except when it's from a clown. So, no clowns. Why should people vote for me? Because, why not? What's, what's not to love about me? Is that good? Come and see the contestants battle it out for the title of Mr. and Miss Cabrini, Monday, November 21st at 8 p.m. in Grace Hall. The fall play is starting on November 10th to the 20th at Cabrini and is a collection of Edgar Allan Poe's famous works called Tinnitibulations. In this dark play, Edgar Allan Poe sits with his dying wife as he reflects on his past writing. The play is going to feature some of his stories such as The Telltale Heart, The Cast of Amontillado, and The Raven. The play will be running for the next two weekends, so come out and support Cabrini Theatre. American horror story Roanoke is winding down. The sixth season of the FX hit follows the story of Shelby and Matt, a couple who throws all their savings into buying an old North Carolina plantation house built on the land where the lost colony of Roanoke once stood. So, of course, they've been having encounters with murderous ghosts and a cannibal hillbilly family. The documentary style is something completely different than past seasons. 
Thanks for tuning in to Lifestyles on Location. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms by simply searching Locator Media. I'm Ashley Shazaga. And I'm Haley Curtis. Have a great week, Cabrini.